Okay, continuing on with the Free Sky Trans Plus playlist, it's now time to bind our receivers. I have made uh, multiple videos binding multiple receivers. If you're watching this one, then I would assume you have the Free Sky X8R. If you do not, then I probably have another video for the receiver that you have. To bind the receiver, we need to apply power to it. The easiest and probably best way to do this is to just go ahead and connect it to your fly controller. I have already gone ahead and soldered on a power and ground wire uh, to the fly controller where they need to be. And these will just plug in to the receiver. You can plug these into any power and ground pins. Any of these middle pins are, they are all power pins. All of this row right here is ground pins. And then uh, on these two, you can just look at these diagrams. So this one on the corner is ground, power, and then signal. So I will just do ground and then power. Next, I have to say that some fly controllers, uh, they can power the receiver through only the USB cable. Some fly controllers do not have that feature. The fly controllers in that case uh, that cannot power it through the USB, you would have to have a PDB connected to your fly controller, basically have a multi-rotor already built, and then plug in your LiPo battery to apply power to your receiver. But the fly controller that I will be using does have that nifty little feature to power my receiver through the USB cable, and we see the red light blinking, meaning it's getting power. But we don't want power now, so go ahead and disconnect it and kind of put this to the side. Next, go to your Tranus. Welcome to OpenTX. Now go to the model that you want to bind the receiver to. Press the page button once. You can scroll all the way down, or you could just scroll up, and that will bring you to the bottom of the page. Go to mode. Okay, now we need to talk about uh, if you are going to be using PWM or SBUS. PWM means that, let's show some light here. If you are using PWM, you will have one wire going to each and every one of these signal pins for a total of eight wires for eight pins just to get eight channels. You only need one power and one ground wire though. Uh, but point point I'm trying to make is if you use this pin down here You will be using S bus instead of PWM with S bus you will get 16 channels instead of 8 and all 16 of those channels will be run through one wire instead of 16 wires For this reason with this receiver. I highly recommend S bus So if you want S bus Set your mode to D16, go down to channel range, set that from 1 to 16. Next you need to choose a receiver number. Uh, if you already have a receiver bound, a different receiver, and you choose the receiver number for that receiver and you press enter, it's going to come up with a warning message saying that it's already taken, so you would just hit exit and then choose a different number. Uh, you would just go up one number and then press enter again. Uh, now go to bind and press the enter button. Going back to the receiver and fly controller, you will see here this button that says FS, that is your fail safe button. You need to press and hold this button and then apply power to the receiver however you choose to get power to it. So what I'm going to do is take my USB cable, line it up with the USB, but do not plug it in yet. Then I will hold down the fail safe button. With it being held down, I will now plug in my USB cable. We will see the solid green light and blinking red light. That means you can release the button. Now you can just disconnect the power. Go back to the Tyrannus, press enter to make it stop chirping. 
you can exit all the way back to the main menu but leave it turned on going back to this you can apply power again and you should now be getting a solid green light if you have the solid green light then that means you are now done it has been properly bound and everything is working if you have a solid green and a solid red light then that means that uh, there's a conflict between the firmwares of the receiver and the transmitter and what I mean by that is it's not the firmware version number or anything like that what I mean is there is a international version of firmware and then there is a EU version of firmware if you get both the solid red and solid green light then that means that one of these has the international firmware one of these has the EU version of firmware so you need to change one or the other so that they match once they match you can rebind the receiver and you will get the solid green light and that does it for this video guys so uh, if you randomly found this video and uh, you want to check out the FreeSky Trans Plus playlist, I will leave a link for you in the description below so you can check that out. We're doing many cool things there. And other than that, that's going to be it. So thanks for watching. I will see you again soon.